going for an interview in the bus in the train or wherever there will be this short man looking so insignificant who will step on your toes and you will give to him well 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 when you get to the station and get down he also get out you start walking he's also walking you enter the building he's entering when they are opening the gate or the the, the, the door you see him standing next everyone will greet him yes sir then your heart will start beating when you are asked to come for the interview you see the short man sitting I say, yeah, 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 yeah. a lady gave me the daughter to take to ghana our plane delayed that it was i went then with ghana Airways. that's a long time ago our plane delayed all kinds of problems when i got out of the plane i was so tired i joined the queue then this immigration officer don't know who he came he was troubling me i told him my friend i'm very very angry i don't leave this place left when we got there i found out that the passport of the of the girl i was taking to ghana had expired he told me okay you go to that room <laughs> i entered the room here is the man he asked me what do you want i looked at her i said okay, we, <laughs> we became friends Am I helping somebody? Hard ground. Number four. When your ground is cursed, it becomes a desolate ground. What is the desolate ground? It brings forth thorns and thistles and weeds. How does that work in practical life? It simply means that the ground that you are working on you will have a lot of competition when you sow the seed you have sown will compete with the grass will compete with the thorns and compete with the thistles so you will be in the choir you have a good voice you can sing but there will always come people that are singing better you will pray god let somebody have a running nose <laughs> so they cannot sing <laughs> no, no, I, don't, I don't think i can do the solo <laughs> just that when you are, you are about to get excited somebody will just show up and then they can sing better than you and they know the words of the song so they tell you please you let this one do this one only this time You start a church, your church is doing well. Another church will start competing with you. You will see a man, you are interested in the man, the man is interested in you. Another person will start competing with you. There is a job. You are qualified. But from nowhere, somebody with qualification that is bigger, fatter, nicer than yours will send their application to the same company. Some promotion that should have come to you. You have, you have done everything you know to do. You have studied. Gotten a nice degree, first degree. The promotion is coming. Suddenly somebody with an MBA, maybe I'm watching, will just show up. somebody always better than you somebody always preferred to you somebody always doing more than you are doing somebody to take your place weeds weeds when you have a desolate ground number two what you sow it's not, oh, this thing hurts me too much. It's not what you reap. You love people, but they hate you. You help people, but they destroy you. You speak well of them, but they will speak evil of you. You give them your hand, they will bite it. 
a desolate ground. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. But you are given and instead of you receiving, you keep giving. When it is their wedding, oh, you will move heaven and earth. You wouldn't sleep. You will work hard. You will move up and down. Do everything. When you have a boyfriend, you are not wedding. No, you have a boyfriend. They are jealous. They will stand with you, pray with you. I pray, Father, give this one a husband. Give this one a partner. Then, when God brings a partner, they stop talking to you because. The partner they were hoping you would get, you have gotten one bigger, one better. So now they are not happy. They were hoping one jan- janitor would marry you because they are married to a school teacher so that they will be better than you. But unfortunately for them, it is a managing director that is interested in you. So there is a problem. When you are working a desolate ground, this is your story. Whenever people are in need, I'm there for them. But when I'm in need, nobody looks at me. You are working a desolate ground. What you are reaping is not, you didn't sow thorns and thistles. You sowed wheat. But instead of wheat coming out of the ground, it is thorns and thistles that is coming out. You sowed love. But you are reaping hatred. You sowed kindness, but you are reaping wickedness. You did good, but evil is what is coming out of the ground. Number three, when you are working a desolate ground, somebody will steal your spotlight. Every human being must have a day that the spotlight will fall on them. But when you are working a desolate ground, on the day of your glory, somebody will be preferred to you. Somebody will steal your spotlight. Something will happen. On the day that Donnie McClacken will come here and is looking for someone to sign a contract for, that is the day somebody in the choir whose chance had come would miss church or would not be able to sing will sing off key will be sabotaged that is the day the microphone wouldn't work well they are singing and it's only half of the words you are hearing oh lord my you are so wonderful you are all the need It is that same day that some various singer will come to church. I grew up always feeling rejected, not loved, not wanted. My greatest asset was talking and running. I ended up in Presec. We're going to have interhouses. I was the fastest in my house, Laboni house. The fastest. It was a particular race called the Giants. It's for short people. <laughs> I was going to run it. The fastest. One week before the interhouses, this foolish boy <laughs> decides to leave at water and come to Presec. During practice, he opens his foolish mouth and says he can run. We ran three times. He beats me. <laughs> During the interhouses, I had to join the crowd to clap for him. <laughs> Somebody stole my spotlight. There is this country I go to in Suriname, in South America. When I go there, I'm, I'm treated like a president. Picked 
from the tarmac VIP everything we hold our meetings in stadiums huge miracles signs wonders powerful one day we went when I got there the stadium was half filled I said ah, what is going on don't they know I'm in town they said oh yeah there is another prophet from Ghana who is doing his meeting somewhere I said what I told the driver stop I got out I collected sand then I lifted it like this I started dropping it I said Surinam God has given you to me God has given me an assignment here I don't stop anybody from ministering here but the crowd God has given to me nobody can take from me then I got in the car I said let's go the next day the stadium was jammed I said yes Papa is in town <laughs> nobody should steal my spotlight there is this girl she's been praying to God Baba give me marriage Baba give me marriage Baba give me. after an all night now says all night the girl is standing at the trotter station waiting for some trotter this nice Mercedes Benz stops. S class. Wonderful looking guy. They start talking. The guy lives in Trasaco. Great place. The guy says, I'm interested in you. I want to marry you. Oh, great. I'd like to come and see where you live. After six months. Because the lady was the one going to the, to the guy. I says, I want to come and see uh, your place. Know your place. The Saturday that he went there, when he got there, the lady was taking her bath and it was the lady's friend who opened the door. The moment the man saw the lady's friend said, are you married? He said, yes, thank you, Jesus. I nearly made a mistake. Let's go. They are married. The girl is still single. Somebody stole her spotlight. This boy held the junior brother to go to either Denmark or Finland worked very hard bought a Nissan Almera to give to the senior brother to work with came to Ghana, went to the harbor to clear the car, when he was driving out, a man stopped him asked him, are you selling the car? he said no, I'm going to give to my brother to use as a taxi he said no, if you give it to me I'll use it for hiring and I'll give you $40 a day he forgot his brother and gave the car to a stranger Somebody stole spotlight. In Ghana, during marriage, this thing happened in Amsterdam. You know, they bring girls, they cover their faces, and then they say, is it this one? They say, no. Is that that? What's up? They brought the first girl. The guy said, yes, it's this one. <laughs> he said, oh, stop that stuff. I said, no, it's uh, oh, so, uh, 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 They are married. Lift up your right hand. Say, in the day of my glory, may another not be preferred. May nobody stand in my spotlight. Can you believe I preached this message in uh, uh, Prophet Nasser's place and then this lady came to see me and said she would like me to help her because she wants to uh, go on television. So I made an appointment with her to meet her in a restaurant. A day, or I mean, on that day she came. When we were about to start eating, an old music star in Ghana walked in. And when she saw me, she said, oh, Bishop Bernard, in fact, I need you. Then she came, sat at our table, greeted her. Oh, said, oh, uh, do you know anyone at TV3? I want you to help because I want to start this, that. I want to do this. I was going to say to her, yes i will do it for you then this other lady jumped quick he said papa what he's looking for that is what i'm looking for i met with you here to talk about me so please let her go <laughs> finish with me then later you can call her and help her then i said i thank god because somebody would have stolen your spotlight somebody 
Why? Because you are working a desolate ground. Desolate ground. I told you yesterday, hey, me, I'm looking for a girl to call me. A girl calls me and they're asking for somebody's name. What is wrong with my own name? somebody is stealing my spotlight somebody is being preferred to me something that should have come to me because I have made effort because I have prayed because I have been good instead of coming to me somebody has shown up and is taking it may God's spotlight not fall on another may it fall on you May you be the one that is noticed. May you be the one that is preferred. May you be the one that is wanted. May something happen to your crowd. Aduru busukaya. Taburi andasaye kebohuye. I know, man of God, I know somebody is saying that, Bishop, enough. Show us what to do with the ground. Show us. Watch this. Verse 20 says, let's read it again. Let's start from, uh, from 17. We'll all read it together. Genesis chapter 3. Let's start from 17. I want you to notice something. Ah, I feel the anointing. How many of us are ready to pray? Hmm. Okay, let's read. He says, to Adam he said, uh-huh, go. To Adam he said, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. One, one more time. One more time. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you see the type of ground he is working. He is working a desert, a, 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 a parched ground through painful toil. He is working a hard ground through painful toil. Continue. He is working a desolate ground. He is getting what he did not sow. He is getting competition. Somebody is stealing his spotlight. Continue. It will produce tons and testers. And yet, in spite of all these difficulties, you will still be dependent on the ground. How painful. The people you hate will be the ones that are in charge. The ground is fighting you and yet you are dependent on the ground. Oh, I wish somebody is getting revelation. Go back, go back, go back, go back. No, sorry, stay here, here, stay here, stay here. He says, it will produce stones and thistles and yet what will feed you is that same ground that is fighting you. Those people that don't like you those people that hate you will be the one that is in power. Will be the one that have what you need. Will be the ones that are in control. Will be the ones that you are dependent on. In spite of this behavior of the ground, you will still be dependent on the ground. Continue. Verse 19. Uh huh. Wait. By the sweat of your brow, you. Why? Why? In other words, you will suffer and suffer and suffer before you get little. Then he says, until you return to the ground. When I read this the first time, I thought it meant till you die. But if God was saying that, then they shouldn't have used the word till. Should have used the word and you will die but he says still so i examined it i examined it again watch this pastor Atta, i'm going to hit your head and keep hitting your head till you get up when will i stop hitting him 
you will suffer you will have problems you will struggle till you return to the ground so when i return to the ground what will happen all the things he has said will stop in other words till you get the revelation that the problem is not your seed it is not a devil it is not evil but it is just a cursed ground and go back to the cursed ground and fix it till you go and fix the small ground till you go and fix the desolate ground till you go and fix the past ground till you go and fix the hard ground till you go and fix the barren ground you will eat from the, the you eat from the ground you will struggle you will suffer things won't work things will be difficult but the day you go back like tonight you are coming back and fix the ground all these things will stop They will. Bishop, how do I fix the ground? Number one. Through prayer, fasting, righteous living, humility. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. He didn't say I will give them money. He didn't say I'll give them a job. He didn't say I'll give them a green card. He said I will fix their ground. I will fix their ground. I will fix their financial ground. I will fix their marital ground. I will fix their health ground. I will fix their business ground if they will humble themselves if they will fast if they will pray like they are going to pray tonight then i will fix the ground and when i fix the ground they don't have to eat from the sweat of their brow when i fix the ground it will no longer bring forth thorns and thistles when i fix the ground there wouldn't be competition anymore when I fix the ground, the resistance they are facing will stop. When I fix, when I fix your ground, the difficulties you are going through, the confusions you are going through, when I fix your ground, they will stop. When I fix your ground, the sickness in the family, all the six of you, and all the things that you are going through, when I fix the ground, they will stop. When I fix the ground, it doesn't matter from which part your dad came from the problem will stop it will stop it will stop it will stop when i fix your ground the alcoholism in the family will stop when i fix the ground the abuse will stop it will it will it is a ground problem it is a ground problem i feel like praying for this lady but i'll just leave it you will pray yourself god will take away the shame and will restore you you'll be the first one he will restore and then the honor will come to the family because tonight you are going to fix the ground oh all the efforts you were making all the pain all the prayer all the crying all the fasting me, I wasn't seeing any results. I was sowing money, sowing, everybody will come, sow for this, sow for that, give to this. I have done all of that. I have sent money to Creflo Dollar. I have sent money to uh, uh, Creflo Cent. I have sent money to everybody. <laughs> it's still not working. When you fix your ground, hallelujah, it doesn't matter who you are. It's just the ground. A praying mother prayed to fix the ground of a, of, of, of a boy. The boy was into trouble. He had been shot, been to prison. I'm talking about Creflo Dollar's half brother, 50 cents. 
Are they not related? Sorry, I thought they were related. This one is dollar, this is 50 cents, so I thought it was the half brother. Oh, okay, sorry. Someone say, it's the ground. I'm going to fix it tonight. Number two, you fix it by water. It has seed, but it is dry. It needs water. I, I feel something. Jehovah, help me. It has seed, it is seeded, but because it is dry, nothing is growing but tonight we will water our ground we will do what we will do what we will do what number three by application of the blood the bible says when jesus died and his blood hit the ground the ground opened up and released righteous people. What were righteous people doing in the ground? What were good people doing in the ground? Question. What is good things doing in your ground? Gold. Diamond. Great things. Why is it not out of the ground but still in the ground? It's because there is no blood to break the strongholds of the ground and release your treasures. But tonight, as we apply blood to the ground, this piece of cloth represents your personal ground. So whatever I do here, understand I am doing to your ground. So this is the symbol. We are going to pray for three things. Number one, Jehovah, fertilize the ground. Cause seeds that I put in to germinate. Let it germinate good and well. Number two, kill every evil seed I have put in there. Things I have done to people that is growing in my ground that wants to bring forth. Jehovah, kill them. Expose great things that I have hidden in there. That is our prayer. Jump to your feet. Are you ready to fix your ground? Are you ready to fix your ground? Where are my prayer warriors? Where are my prayer? The moment is prayer time. The prayer warriors to be to be charged charged in your spirit wanting to see a change buri kasaya tarada muni ni mige se fala baduri bika kasuka tani bika lift up your right hand say father i thank you i thank you for jesus for jesus thank you thank you for my salvation for my salvation i believe in my heart i believe in my heart that jesus that jesus is the son of god is the son of god i believe i believe that jesus that jesus died for my sins died for my sins i am your child i am a child i am born